Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add colour to this. So because you're adding colour, um, yeah, make sure you've got all your lines finished so you know what you're colouring in and where. You can go a little bit crazy with the way you're colouring it in. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing the sky because that's always fun. Okay, so my sky is going to be going to do a sunset I think so I've got some nice colors here okay um, so if I they say red, start around the Sun can be yellow like that okay try and keep in the lines okay then I'm going to have a warm orange glow around the outside okay try and go dark to light okay like we said okay so I've got some orange coming around the outside so blending Right, now I'm going to blend it into the pink. And then it's going to be quite red here. Try not to go over your lines. Try and you can turn your page. So try and uh, make sure you're colouring in the same direction so you can see it blend in, add more detail and be more accurate about your colouring. You can try and do this too or you can colour it in blue, whatever. But the more creative your perspective view looks, the better. And this one's going to be assessed, so... Try to make sure that you show your best skills. Okay. So I've got some red on there. I'm going to go, if I've got a purple, I've got a blue. I haven't got a purple. Okay, so the rest of it can be blue. So I'm going to start off with a, a uh, dark blue around the outside. Just trying to get you started with some ideas. And I'm going to blend another blue into this as well. So try and blend your colours. Um, so, now you're looking at your trees, try to do your trees in different colours. It could be autumn, 
okay so you could be looking at those colors um so i'm going to start with a really dark green okay again try and stay in the lines okay and then i'm going to go to an orange one okay press hard so you can see that you can do a tonal difference okay coloring in so i've got an orange one in the autumn you always get like red star sky at night and it's good to have a range of different colors to make it look creative okay i'm going to have a light green behind try and get crazy colors going on doesn't have to look for real A red one behind here if you've got time you can add some more detail you could even draw leaf outlines okay, I'm gonna go back to my dark green here for an orange because it's not touching. So this is just to start you off getting the idea on how you can build your perspective drawing. Okay, try to be creative, um, try and use a range of colours, um, anyway there's just a starting point, okay, obviously colouring the road, the buildings, the grass, all different colours. Alright, thank you.